every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because I want to say something now when i started ministry i used to go and preach and sometimes now I, I'm, I'm i have never preached for money it has never been about giving i love jesus with all my heart and for as long as i live he becomes my motivation are we together but when i started preaching i remember when i would go and minister somewhere and sometimes is when i climb my bike going back home they will now stand as if they are bribing me and bring out 2a and just count maybe 1,000 or 500 as a man of God. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming for this meeting. I never felt bad because it was only my body that was in that realm. My mind was already years ahead of my body. And I knew my mind would pick my body to a place where I'll be blessed. I never told anybody I am growing. The moment I focus on growing, everything including the way they treated me as i traveled began to grow can i tell you this everything is waiting for you to grow to grow too now i'm going to demonstrate something that many of you have watched me do it can can i have a few people gentlemen sorry for inconveniencing you please come let's have like um i need at least six people one two three one two three four five six three of you stand here please facing one another no three stand here three stand here everybody watch and don't let the devil deceive you to believe you know what i'm saying just pay attention to what i'm saying because this is how the devil cheats people in church now watch this please go back guys this is what i want you to learn Please, if you can lift your right hand, anything you can find, whether you're watch, just lift anything up that represents your results. Watch this. These are all the things that you want. Now he's lifting money. Now he's lifting all of this. These are different dimensions in life. Watch this. The way God programmed life is that you don't... All these things they are lifting, lift it guys, are needed in your destiny. But to start looking for them one by one is a burden God did not give you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Most of us, when God tells you, you need influence, you need relationship, you need a media ministry, you need finances, you need to travel abroad. How do you start looking for these things one by one? How old will you become before you get them? Let me show you how it works. You don't look for money. You never find it. Every realm and every level in your life has the possibilities attached to it to come. If this is level one, there is something that should come to level one. If this is level two, there is something that should come to level two. You don't bring them by getting them. You bring them by growing. Let me show you how the law works. For every step I take, come close to. Watch this. I'm in one room, poor and broke. From a family where nobody has risen. But I'm listening to Joshua Selman's message. And he's preaching and i'm listening to it lord i know that you are changing me watch this i don't even know that these things are coming closer to me because i can't see them i'm still in the one room let me show you how the law works god has called you to be an entrepreneur he has called you to be a man of god now i'm listening to my smooth materials i'm listening to all of these things oh there is something called the law of honor that honor is the key to access i've grown watch this are you seeing that now everything you are looking for is also looking for you but it is not looking for this version of you please go back guys is someone learning now there is a version of you that wants to get this a version of you that wants to sit in business class you sit with business class with only 100 naira in your pocket you are not yet there so you go back you know you have entered a realm because everything around you grows to support that realm 
you cannot buy a jeep and be looking for one gallon of fuel to foil it you are not there are you seeing now if it is by growth you get to a point where you can buy a jeep then other supporting areas would have grown to make foiling a car not an issue this is the mistake and the fallacy of a fake life you came to church sit down and learn watch this now because for some of you i'm showing you a graphic picture of what god is doing with you now you are seated in that house and you are saying lord will you ever lift me and then you keep learning and then you keep learning and then you keep learning one day somebody just calls you and says where are you is the law of time and chance happening remember the power of god is supervising that law you are a businessman someone now says can you help me sell one land um and you sell it and make three hundred thousand. it is small compared to the kingdom financier billionaire you are to be but it is a test it is only god showing you that this thing is working now you keep engaging these laws a time will come where even you cannot push them away the moment you are growing even if you try to push them they won't go you push money away it will not go because your growth has brought it to your life are you getting what i'm saying now now watch this by the time you stand this way everything has surrounded you the media interview you have always looked for you forgot about it and focus on growth the jeep that will not make people sleep now you have cars you don't even know what to do with it because they were designed to follow growth not just desire believers if you pay attention to what i'm saying you will look for me one day and say apostle thank you let's go back this is where you are my dear brother nobody knows you yet you are a man of god that god has said you will go to the nations there is temptation to live a fake life and get into premature manifestation and god says don't worry oh god but i am i am 30 years old and i don't have a car god says just focus on growing just focus on growing and while you are growing one day god will position your destiny help us in a conference and bring you there to preach and then because you have allowed yourself to be transformed by the time you preach you see this man holding money he will carry what will be somebody's one year salary and give to you just when you want to rejoice god says ah we are still in the school of the spirit this is not all you need this is just to encourage you that it is working let's go back to class now many people out of pride just stand and start bragging and says no can i be honest with you you can go back and everything also will go back this is the mystery behind balloon success now watch this i can use willpower and i can manipulate my way to hold this whereas i have not grown the laws of god's justice system will interpret this as a lie i will lose this thing no matter how careful i am life must take me back to the real place that befits my mindset can i be honest with you my dear people hear me this is where living a fake life if you eat tomorrow's bread today you will be hungry tomorrow if you wear tomorrow's cloth today if all you have is a trouser of 500 naira iron it with honor it is only your body wearing it your mind is already in a boutique shopping for your next level of life walking with the holy spirit we live in a world today where people are proud are they feel ashamed of process if you come and meet me in a one room with my bible and my candle and i'm praying and reading a book usually i'll be afraid and ashamed and so i will lie and tell my friend can you borrow me your house so that i will give a narrative that i'm making it no the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that people can rise and can i tell you this let men laugh while you rise they will be the witnesses the day you rise they will be the ones who tell people no 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 minus this person we knew him we saw him when he started make up your mind that there is no living a fake life anywhere 
don't borrow any money to go and buy clothes and buy this and buy a car that debt is killing you your mindset is cooperating with satan to bring you back punishing yourself in cycles simply because you want to give a narrative that you're successful you can find rest god's way one last time let me act your journey right now for some of you you have gotten to level one some of you are already millionaires but that's not all god wants to do some of you are billionaires but that's not all god wants to do can i tell you this until you get to a point where you can give to the kingdom without inconvenience you are not yet there so as i kneel to pray as i come for koinonia every week let me tell you what is happening to you week one week two you don't look like it week three all that falling you are falling under the anointing you stand up and feel your weave fell out. don't worry don't worry this is what is happening to you i know you are laughing but take seriously what i'm saying you are listening to the word of god others are sleeping you are awake praying you are studying materials all because you want to build your mind a day will come you will see people's prayer requests coming to you you didn't remember praying for them but you fulfilled the lord that brought them they will come so close to you you will drive them and they will not go away a day will come you say god these cars are enough just when you are saying it a call will come and somebody will say god told me and god says i can't stop you are obeying the law i must back it please do not think what you are hearing is some entertainment from a preacher no i fear god too much to come and waste your precious time here Alagbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi, you are the glorious God. Alagbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi, you are the Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.